G'day guys, this is Nick at stridewise.com at SHUT NYC's global headquarters in New Jersey, makers of America's favorite leather jackets with Jason Shutt, the great grandson of the founder of SHUT, which is just the coolest jacket company you can ever find. Jason, thank you for coming on the channel. Thank you for having me and uh, thanks for coming here to the factory. For yeah. A nice little tour. Today we're talking about how to clean and condition a leather jacket. Leather jackets are famously extremely durable they'll last forever and ever and ever but leather is skin after all and like your face skin it's good if it gets a bit of a clean and moisturization now and then uh but not not as often as your face does how how often should someone clean and condition their jacket a lot of that depends on how you're using your jacket um there a lot of times jackets can go years without having to recondition but if you get caught in a major rainstorm or if you're riding on your if you're riding with your jacket on a motorcycle, for example, and you're getting a lot of salt and slush into it, then you're going to want to restore the natural oils. And so you're going to want to do that at least once a year. If in doubt, throw some leather oil on there, or you can always contact us and we'll give you some recommendations on how to treat different leathers. All right. Well, that's what we're here for today. This here is uh, Jason's own Shot Perfecto. This is the brown version of the uh, very, very famous jacket, the first real motorcycle jacket with zips. It's been worn by Marlon Brando and James Dean and just about every cool person in the history of the planet. Uh, this is a brown one. Again, normally you've probably seen it in black, but we are fortunate to have a brown one here today because you're gonna have a look at how conditioning it can change the appearance of the leather, but not for the worse, for the better, it's okay. So for starters, uh, is there a certain way you need to clean a leather jacket? Because I know that like with boots, you need to clean them before you condition them. Otherwise the conditioning products might like kind of you know, bake the dirt into the pores and that can like affect the longevity. That's right. Um, it is advisable. You don't have to clean every time you're putting oil on the jacket, especially depending on how dirty it is. But if you have a lot of salt or dirt in the jacket, you which is hard to start. tell when it's black leather as well, you can, it's hard to tell if it's I mean, dirty. you can kind of tell by looking at the seams and you can see if it's a little crusty. I mean, my jacket actually gets, uh, we'll call it city wear more than anything. And so um, it doesn't have that caked on dirt or anything. It's it's just been worn a lot and it's right. a little bit dried out. I like the brown because you get a lot of those highs and lows. If you are not looking for those highs and lows, the, the leather oil helps to blend that in. Um, but it's, it's helpful to take a really soft bristle brush um, and you can go into seams and kind of make sure that everything is clean. I mean, that's the first thing that I would start with is just brushing out all those seams and making sure that you don't have any residue in there that's going to kind of get locked in as you're, as you're cleaning. I mean, okay. in this, this particular case, I think we're pretty good there. All right. Okay. So give it a brush down, up and down the seams, especially because that's where dirt can hide. Otherwise, there's a good chance you'll be able to see the dirt. And if it's not there you're probably good. Do you think like wiping it down with a wet rag before you get into it is a good idea? I think um, you can do it with a wet rag. I actually like um, this saddle soap and, and this is otter wax saddle soap, but you can get saddle soap from different places. It, it's this Castile leather cleaner and that's kind of the, the nice thing about it. I like to do it with a little bit of this soap. You can use a wet rag. I like a little bit of soap. And um, what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of warm water and I'm going to wet a lint-free rag, take some of the saddle soap, and I'm going to start just picking a spot and just cleaning. And this is going to bring out the dirt. Afterwards, you need to like wash it off with like with the clean water or is it just rubbing, rubbing with the no, soap and then a wipe um, is going to be fine? Really you don't need to wash it off after this. I wouldn't even recommend that you need to wash it off after that. You don't want to soak it in water. You don't want to end up washing your jacket. So, okay. It's just a little bit of that. All right. So a, if you're worried about the amount of dirt on your jacket, brush down the seams a bit with a brush, give it a brush all over. And if you really think there's some like dirt cake onto there, or you're worried about that, use a bit of saddle soap with some warm water. That's uh, right. And that'll help, that'll help lift that out. If you happen to get an oil stain, on your jacket we use baby powder it's very simple but throwing on a lot very liberally throwing baby powder on there is going to help to bring any stain out of the any oil stain out of the leather 
That's if it's like a fresh stain, I imagine. What if it's been if, there for a while? If it's been there for a while, just oil the sucker up and cover it up and hope that it blends in. I Fair think enough. That's, that's the best thing you can do. I mean, if you start working on the leather and you can try to use your, your fingers and kind of blend it in, um, a lot of these waxes that are put into the leather are going to travel as it's worn. I mean, that's kind of the beauty of getting these highs and lows. Mm. Um, and so sometimes you really can redistribute the wax just by manipulating it a little bit and you can kind of lighten it up and then um, the oil is gonna help to blend it back in. Okay, so that's that's cleaning the jacket. Uh, conditioning is, is another beast. Uh, for starters, what does conditioning do and what are some of the best products for it? The conditioning, so if you think about your skin and you think about that daily regimen that everyone has or should have to moisturize your skin, um, leather needs to be moisturized as well. And so it, you need to restore those natural oils. The, the leather, when it's tanned, it starts with a, a good amount of those oils, um, the waxes and the resins that are in there to make it last. But you do want to restore that stuff. And so there's a few different products that we like to use. Um, one of them actually that we recommend a lot is this Lexol leather conditioner. You can get this at just about any automotive shop for um, working on leather seats, for example. Um, and so this, we use Lexol a lot. Um, we also like the Otter Wax has a really nice leather oil. This one has a nice scent to it. The uh, Safflower and Vitamin E polishing oil. And so this stuff um, is really good to put on. Uh, there's one step that I like to do. Sometimes they recommend, Otter Wax recommends beforehand to put some Canuba wax in there first. We, you can buy Canuba wax also at car places um, or Otter Wax has this leather solve that they have. And um, that's like a pre-conditioning product? Yes, this is, so you can kind of do it. They recommend putting the wax on to kind of restore the, it gives a little bit of water resistance. It also restores the oils. The thing is this part has to dry and then you actually wanna see a little bit of a white residue on the surface. It's, you should blend it in until it's um, a little bit cloudy. We'll see. And so by, by putting this on here, this wax will need to dry. It's it's shiny at first, and all right. So let's 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 apply the conditioning. So how do you apply oil? It's a very simple process, but you're basically just finding some kind of a cloth, and you're gonna throw some oil on there. And again, this is something that you should usually try on the inside of a jacket, um, but we're gonna we're gonna do it out here because I'm pretty comfortable with this, and you really want to get a generous amount of the oil and it should just soak it right up. And it will darken. It's gonna darken and, and blend it in, but a lot of times that's what you want. Um, and then it takes a little bit more wear to get those highs and lows back. Yeah, that's it's important to know. A lot of people, they'll say stuff like, how do I condition my jacket, but I don't want the color to change at all. Um, I feel like there are some, I don't know. I think, I think Bic 4 is like pretty good at that. What do you think? Have you tried that? Uh, no, um, Red Wing has a product that is supposed to be pretty good about not color changing. Um, I don't know Bic 4 that well. I think Bic 4 is best for not changing the color, but if you don't have Bic 4, uh, it, it's also like not really that, it's not that big a deal. Like it's gonna get very dark originally, uh, yep. like as, as you're doing it, but it's important to note that 24 hours later, it'll be lighter. And then when you wear it for a couple of weeks, uh, it's, it's, gonna, it's, it's gonna lighten up again. So it won't go back quite to the worn in color uh, that it, it was before you darkened it because the fact is you've, you've re-moisturized it and that's gonna make the leather a little bit darker, but it will continue to develop patina and it'll continue to change the way it looks as it ages nonetheless, uh, just from a different starting point. So it'll still be beautiful. It'll just be like a different kind of beautiful. And it's gonna be more durable. It's gonna yes. stand up better against the rain in the future and it's gonna be less prone to tears. And that's really the main reason why we're doing this is to preserve the jacket. So it may be more beautiful before you do it, but if you can't wear it because it's tearing or drying and rotting out, that's not any good for anyone. So 
That's why we have to go through this process. Another question is, what about cleaning the inside of the jacket? Like the, the bit that's not leather. Like I, I sweat in mine a, a fair amount, you know what I mean? Like the, the flannelly bits, uh, what, what if I wanna, what if I wanna clean that? Well, the, the simplest and best answer is every now and then you may wanna take it to a professional leather cleaner where they can really just take care of the whole jacket and clean it out. But if you steam the lining, if you have a steamer, um, that will help to kill the bacteria. Um, it, there's not a whole lot that you can do. You can't throw the jacket into a washing machine or anything. So okay. um, that is not gonna, that is not advisable at all. You can see how much darker it is on yeah. this side. Um, but this is going to dry and pretty soon you'll still have that those lighter colors coming up. What if I get caught in the rain and my jacket's all wet? Don't worry. If you get caught in the rain, you don't want to put your jacket near heat to let it dry. It needs to dry at room temperature. Don't put it any kind of plastic on it or anything. Just allow it to dry and then you definitely should go for some kind of leather oil or something to help restore those natural oils. Got it. All right, so as you can see, uh, this is what it looks like conditioned. This is what it looked like before it was conditioned. And uh, again, this is darker, but it still like looks really gorgeous. You still got some uh, a bit of color variation in there. It will lighten tomorrow. It will lighten even more over the coming weeks. And uh, it will just generally last longer and look better as it ages if you give it a good conditioning when appropriate. We have talked about how to clean the inside, what to do when you get oil on it, what to do when it's sturdy on the inside, how to clean the inside of it as well why you moisturize it, why you clean it, when to clean it. Anything else you want to add? Any questions, uh, email, call us, and we're happy to walk you through it. They're very open. They even managed to, they are even open to hang out with me and letting me film a video so I can answer all these questions <laughs> myself. I have my own shot jacket. I'm going to do all this too at home later on. Um, and if there's anything else you want to know about how to clean and condition a leather jacket, yeah, just uh, get in touch with Shot NYC. But a well cared for leather jacket will probably last you the rest of your life and it'll look better every day. So I encourage you to get one. Let's say Shot NYC. I encourage you to get from Shot NYC. There's a link in the description below. Check them out if you want to get some more. Uh, and uh, subscribe here as well if you just turned up here because we've got a lot more videos on apparel and footwear made to last and that looks cool every day. That's what I'm all about. So subscribe and uh, thanks for your time today. Jason Shot. Thank you. All right. Thanks. It's been a pleasure.